Yo, 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 it's your boy Afro, a.k.a. Fro Thizzle. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 2002 flick, National Security, starring Martin Lawrence and Steve Zahn, directed by Dennis Dugan. So ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Martin Lawrence plays a guy named Earl Montgomery. He's a larger-than-life, borderline catastrophe character that gets rejected by the LAPD early on in the film. Earl goes through a police training course, and he defies every single rule that's assigned to him. He goes on a wild car chase with the instructor, and he shoots every criminal cardboard cutout except the black one. Earl is demoted to being a security guard ultimately, but he takes this job way too seriously. I know some people might have problems with the racial humor in this film when Earl was constantly going, oh, it's because I'm black this, it's because I'm black that. But honestly, it doesn't bother me at all because Earl Montgomery is such an over-the-top crazy character. And I really think Martin Lawrence does a really solid job here. And of course, I can see some people groaning or being like, oh, this is too extra and and whatnot but i have no problem because i think he has quite a bit of memorable moments and quotables and sure he does fuck up quite a bit through the film but i also think he has some kick-ass moments here or there in some rather cool action sequences i really enjoy steve zahn here as the cop hank He's a decent guy with super bad luck on his shoulders. He comes across Earl one day when Earl was trying to get into his car, but it looks like he's breaking into it. So Hank stops by, obviously. It looks suspicious. He's like, hey, are you the owner of this car? And one of the smaller, funnier moments for me is when Earl says, I ain't doing a damn thing, ya Nazi. A huge bumblebee comes along. Earl makes a bigger deal out of it than what it is. Hank is trying to hit the bumblebee, but from onlookers' perspectives on the outside, they have their cameras up, and it looks like Hank is kicking the shit out of Earl. This becomes a huge deal, and Hank is eventually thrown into jail for six months. The prisoners absolutely despise Hank. They're staring him down with death glares, and Hank throws himself into solitary for the majority of his sentence to avoid confrontation. I do love this jail sequence with Hank because it's rather funny, And I do love the use of De La Soul's All Good in the background, which I'm a big fan of that song and that group. And I do love the soundtrack in this film as well. Won't start no shit, won't be no shit, won't start no shit. I love that song. And it's an edited version in the film, but I'm a fan of that song as well. I do enjoy the action sequences quite a bit. Are they jaw dropping? Of course not. I wouldn't say so. But I think they work rather well for a goofy buddy cop film. We have some decent shootouts. I do like the scene where Earl is hanging off the back of the truck while they're on the freeway and Earl is trying to get back inside. So he's kicking his legs all through the air trying to get back in. I do like that scene. And this one's ridiculous, but when Earl and Hank are hiding in the van from the bad guys and they drive off the bridge all the way down into the garbage boat, It is pretty stupid when you think about it, but I have a big laugh with it, and I actually, I like that moment. The OG Bill Duke pops up as the police captain, and he nearly steals the show. He has maybe three or four scenes, but his comedic timing with his no-nonsense, strict facial expressions of how serious he is, it works really well, and he does give me some of the bigger laughs in the film. Surprisingly, from a rather serious actor like Bill Duke. The scene where Earl asks for a potato chip, and it looks like Bill Duke's going to give him one, but he fakes him out and eats the potato chip instead, that gives me one of the bigger laughs. Leslie Jones, in an earlier role, pops up as a lady trucker that roughs up Earl quite a bit at first, and then eventually it turns into a weird flirting session. Despite not being a big Leslie Jones fan, I don't mind her in this role at all. It's tiny. It's only like a 10-second cameo. Now, moving on. There's two smaller emotional moments through the film, and one of them is where Hank's partner gets killed by the shotgun in the opening scene. And obviously, Hank doesn't want to talk about it through the film, but when him and Earl start to become buddies more, he eventually opens up and he talks about his partner getting killed. And I really think the use of the sentimental piano score in the background during these scenes were rather effective, and you can call me nerdy or goofy for that, no problem, but every viewing that I have with this film, I think these smaller emotional moments hit, and I think they do a rather good job. Wrapping it up, 
I have a great time with National Security. It's always been one of my favorites growing up. I also have the VHS here somewhere. I, I, I'm not sure where I placed it, but I think Martin Lawrence and Steve Zahn have a rather underrated chemistry in this film. I think they worked very well together. And again, I think the action sequences are a little bit more than serviceable. I think they're rather enjoyable, and I have fun every time with this film. So I'm going to give National Security a strong 9 out of 10. Call me crazy, but it's one of my favorites. And that's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. Did you like National Security? Did you hate it? Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. And until next time, on to the next review. I'm out. Thank you for tuning in. Peace. Oh, that looks interesting. What is it? Oh, no. It smells like ass. <laughs>